Welcome back to Amateur Astronomy Storm Tracing. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. It's a little humid out here and we got some big puffy clouds around. But looking at the visible radar, all this is forecasted to leave the area here pretty soon. So the plan is tonight, I'm going to show you guys how I 1, 2, and 3 star align on this uh, Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro using the SkyScan hand controller. It's kind of tricky at first, but hopefully I can kind of show you guys exactly how I do it. And hopefully that'll kind of clear some things up. So now it's going to one of these clouds to get out of here and wait on it to get dark. All right, so I've got pretty much everything set up here. I've got my power supply out here. I've got everything hooked up. I've got my mount balanced out pretty much perfectly, it looks like. I've also got my heat strap wrapped around the telescope because it is muggy out here tonight so I'm definitely going to need that but uh, other than that we finally got a few stars to come out here uh, Vega is coming up here in the east you see Antares over here further behind me just waiting on Polaris to pop out now and go ahead and get polar aligned All right, so whenever you first turn on your HEQ5, you get all of this good stuff, uh, initializing, sky scan, hit enter, warning, don't point the telescope at the sun. All right, and now we need to go ahead and set our longitude and latitude. So I've already got mine set in here. So hit enter, enter. Time zone here in Central Standard Time, I'm negative six. And actually in the instruction booklet for the HQ5, um, it's got the time zones marked out in there. Elevation, I've already looked this up. And the date. So today is June 20th, 2019. Uh, all right, the time. Time right now is 914, so that would be what, 21. 21, 14, whoops, 74, 24, 14. I don't ever really worry with the seconds that much. So let's go with that. All right, it is currently daylight savings time. And the Polaris position, what this is, is um, if you're not using an app or something and you actually use the dials on the mount itself, this kind of tells you where it's supposed to be. So whenever this pops up, just hit enter, enter. All right, and now begin alignment. At this step right here, I always hit no. Why do I hit no? Because we need to put the telescope in the park position. If we were to align from where it is right now, it's going to be way off. So what we need to do now is put the telescope in the park position. So the home position is pretty much where your declination is... Uh, directly 90 degrees with the ground. So basically you want your counterweight pointing directly at the ground. And you also want it pointing directly due north here. Remember this end on the, from the setup video pointing that should be pointing towards Polaris. Basically you want your counterweight bar completely parallel with that right there. So go ahead, loosen up your bright ascension clutch and get your telescope as close to parallel as you can get it. And you also need to do the same thing with your declination up here. You want that pointing directly, ideally, right at the North Celestial Pole. 
Let's go ahead and loosen that clutch up. Move it. Get that pointing as close as you can. And go ahead and lock it back into place. And try not to bump it since we're already pulled our line too. That's important. All right, now here's your main menu. So, from this step, before you start your alignment, go down here, hit the three button, which is the utility button. Scroll down to park scope, park two, home position. So this is what you want to set as your home position. So hit enter. Now your home position is saved for this session. And it, can tell you, it tells you you can go ahead and turn your scope off if you want to. But that's not what we want to do now. Alright. So now we want to go ahead and start our alignment. Uh, flipping mode. Oh god. Tracking. Backlash. Alignment stars. And alignment. Now go ahead and hit enter. So for this first method here, I'm just going to show you one star alignment. Now remember, our scope's going to move from this position that's currently in. So what this is doing right here, this is going through and actually searching for stars that's in the sky for you right now, which is a really cool feature. It always starts out for me with Ar Arcturus. Alright, and there's Vega. And actually Vega is the same star that we set our focus on earlier. So once it says Vega here, go ahead and hit enter and the scope is going to start slewing towards Vega now that the scope is slewed toward Vega you want to use these center buttons here to center Vega now most people here do this part and find Vega in their finder scope but I don't really have a finder scope on the setup here, so I kind of do it the old fashioned way and I just try and find it on the viewfinder itself. Now the directional buttons on this doesn't really coincide with the actual directions in the sky. So at this point here is better off just kind of randomly pressing stuff and just seeing where the scope goes. Yeah, and usually you can find you a couple stars to use as guide points. Which, oh, right there is Vega. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see, but right there it actually just came into frame. So what we need to do here is to center Vega. And yeah, this step right here is kind of slow. You want to go ahead and get Vega pretty much. Just be sure to use your grid here on your screen if you do it this way right here. Go ahead and center it up the best that you can. And a very, very important step right here, whenever you do get it centered up, I was pressing these two buttons right here to get it into the center of the frame. Whenever you do get it centered up, press the opposite buttons. That way you release a little bit of backlash on the motors. So you don't need to press them very much, just a little bit. And that way that releases some of the backlash on the servo motors. And whenever I do kind of get in the center, I kind of just like play around with the buttons really. That way I re release as much backlash as I possibly can. But as you can see, that's Vega right there in the very center of the frame. And that's how you do a one star alignment. And once you do get it aligned, press enter. And it'll pop up and say alignment successful. And that's how you do a one star alignment. So once it says alignment successful, hit enter. I'm not too sure what this caution thing right here is for. I'm sure it has to, something to do with like periodic air and things like that, which is stuff I'm just not really familiar with. So let's hit enter. All right, and then it takes you back to this method right here. So now we want to do a two and three star alignment. So what we'll need to do before we do that, remember, go down here, hit the utility button again. Because we'll need to park our telescope before we do another alignment. Again, go back to part scope. Part two, the home position. And the telescope is going to start, start slewing there. 
All right, and now it's gonna say the telescope is parked and you turn the power off, but that's not what we wanna do. So just hit escape here. We're gonna go back to you. We're gonna go back to the main menu here. And we're gonna go back to tracking, backlash, alignment stars, alignment. And we're gonna hit enter. And this time though, we're gonna do a two star alignment. So again, it's going to pop up and say the first star is Arctis. No, we're going to go for, all right, yep, and then there's Vega. So, go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to slide towards it. Alrighty, and now that the telescope has slowed towards Vega, it actually kind of remembered uh, where it was from, from before. So it pretty well put it right smack dab in the middle. But we still want to go ahead, move it just a little bit. Once you get it centered, go ahead and hit enter. And now it's going to say pick the second star. So, we want to go ahead and pick a second star now. And now for your second star, you can't pick the same one as the first one for obvious reasons. So you're going to need to find something else bright in the sky that you can kind of identify pretty easily. I, I would do Antares, but it's behind a big tree in the backyard right now. Well, let's see. Well, no, I, actually I think it will find Antares right now. Alright, Antares. And once you're happy with your choice, go ahead and hit enter. That's going to slew towards it. Alrighty, so we slew towards Antares now. And would you look at that? It's actually almost in the frame. It's actually almost in the center. So all we need to do now is just again, press the buttons on the controller. And go ahead and get that centered up. And now remember again, your backlash. Always, always release a little bit of the backlash off. So now, from Antares, once you get it centered up, you can go up here, press the enter button, it's gonna say alignment successful. And there's your two star alignment. And now for the three star alignment, you're gonna do the exact same process, but you're gonna do it three times. So one thing to keep in mind here, whenever you're actually doing all these alignments, the telescope is actually tracking those stars across the sky. So whenever you go back and set it to the home position, sometimes it can be kind of off. So always be sure to reset your home position in between every time that you align. But, we'll go ahead and do a three star alignment now. So we wanna go ahead and set our park position here. And this time, instead of doing one two star, we're going to go down to three star on the menu. Enter Arcturus. So we're going to go ahead and slew back to Vega here. And I actually got it really close right here. Whoop, slew in a little bit more. All right, it actually got it really, really close. So let's go ahead and get it centered up. Remember to release your backlash. All right, we're going to go ahead and go back to Antares now for a second star. Look at there. You may not can really see it, but it's almost right in the very middle of the frame here. Sorry, I'm kind of getting in the light. And then hit enter. Now, it's gonna ask for a third star. And now a good way to always find these stars is uh, using the app on your phone or something, like a planetarium app or something like that. All right, now I finally found one that I recognize here, so we'll go ahead. Turn that back on. And we're gonna go that way. And sure enough, we got right on it on the third star. So I hope that kind of clears some of this stuff up. I know this, the way I filmed this right here is kind of really awkward, but it's kind of the best I can do. I may try this again at another point, 
uh, if you guys have any questions just be sure to ask me down in the comments below but uh, I've already I'm about to go ahead and slew to my target here it's something I've been working on for a long time now and I'm excited to finally be able to get some time on it but I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can get and uh, hopefully I can gather some more data on it tomorrow night because it's supposed to be clear too but uh, yeah that's how you do one two and three star alignments a pretty rough guide anyways uh, be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet as always Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching, and I hope you enjoy.